case you didn't see the last three videos, I attended a crazy online webinar where I met a girl who I started really falling for. The problem is she lives on the other side of the world. So we decided to meet for the first time in a country neither of us have ever been to and to travel together for a 30 day first date. But on our first day, I got the worst injury of my life. So we were often stuck indoors while facing tons of other obstacles. But we stayed positive, my foot was healing and now with only 10 days left of our 30 day trip, the real adventure was about to begin. But first, let's rewind for a second. When I said yes to a 30 day first date, I wanted to travel to 15 cities, two countries, do tons of romantic stuff, jump off waterfalls and ride on the back of a whale. You know, simple things like that. But instead, I could barely walk. We pretty much only went to three cities and two typhoons rained on our parade. And at one point I felt like this whole trip just wasn't worth it. Hey Siri, lights off. And things just felt so overwhelming. Well, at least that's what a pessimist would say. Instead, we were ready to make the next 10 days the, the best, best days of our lives. lives. Let's go. Introducing Shargao, the surf capital of the Philippines. Let's start with our hotel. One had a bat in it. Yeah, we slept with a bat. Literally on Halloween night. Uh, kind of excited to go to the next place. <laughs> Which was way worse. Please don't ask. But the last one was perfect. Our hotel manager was so cool and we made friends with everyone staying there. It's a Filipino culture. We get along right away. Oh, it's man. automatic, bro. We're friends that. already. Yeah. Yeah. And in that group were two people who had almost the exact same story as us. They reconnected online, flew to the Philippines to meet in person, and they did it all one week ago. So of course, Steph worked her magic. Will you be Shane's girlfriend? Yeah! Yeah! Are you ready for the best night of your life? I'm ready! Yeah! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> it gets really good from here. Because next, we were going to try our first activity since the whale sharks. We went surfing and we never fell once. Anyways, while surfing, I thought about how life is full of ups and downs. And I used to think the goal was to be happy as much as possible. Now I'm realizing it's actually about embracing whatever life sends your way. You know, the good, the bad, and the bat. You know, cause we slept with, a, we slept with bats. <sighs> Anyways, I was about to be rudely reminded of this lesson in just a minute. But next, the next day while hanging out on the beach, we met these two outstanding people. Hello, new friends. Hello. Who had a lovely message for the world. Everybody wants a friend, and a stranger is just a friend you haven't met yet, so. Yeah, that's so perfect. Yeah, you just have to like pull yourself out there. And you might meet amazing yeah. people. Yeah. <laughs> and on the way home, we got caught in a rolling thunderstorm, <laughs> but we're thankfully rescued. They saved us. And then, we only had one day left in Shargao. And we had some of the best food we've had on the whole trip. Another incredible night out, where for some reason, everyone thought I was PewDiePie. And who's to say, I'm not. Does that look cool in the edit? <laughs> and then, we sadly said goodbye to our new friends. <laughs> and hello to our final destination. Palmira! <laughs> we got there just in time to celebrate Steph's birthday! <laughs> we signed up for this awesome island hopping tour and we had a full day ahead of us. And I felt like I was on top of the world! But then something happened. At our first stop when we went in the water, all my bandages came off. So it hurt to walk, my wound was exposed to everything, and it was probably gonna get infected. And I kept thinking I should have been more careful the night I got hurt. I should have seen a doctor quicker. I shouldn't be doing all these activities. I should have been I should have should have been breathe in. And this is where I'm really grateful to have met Steph. She reminded me it's okay to feel sad and frustrated, but you get to decide how long you want to feel that way. And that's when I decided to start focusing on the positives. I was healthy and yeah, it hurt a little bit, but I could still move. And also, I was on a once in a lifetime adventure with the most incredible girl. And that's when it hit me. The answer is not to shame yourself or to be more careful in life. No, 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 no. The answer is simple, my friend. 
Be bold, enjoy the journey, and embrace all the experiences and emotions of what it means to be human. The love, the frustration, the grief, the excitement, all of it. And despite how we were feeling earlier, that day became our favorite day of the entire trip. We focused on the beauty all around us, on how grateful we were to have found each other. Happy birthday. Thank you. On the amazing adventure we were having. And all the new friends we were making. Especially this parrot. Aye, aye, Captain. And if you don't think that was a real parrot, you're right. Because all of this was a simulation designed by AI. Blah, blah, blah. You get the joke. Okay? And for a little bit, I actually forgot about my injury. Except when we jumped off that kayak. One, two, three. Come on, John. Why am I such a yes man? <laughs> and in our final days, we did as much as we could. Are you ready for the best zip line of your life? My friend told me before I came on this trip, traveling's about embracing the good, the bad, and the ugly. And she said, it's not a holiday. It's an all-around experience. And I can vouch for the fact that she was there. <laughs> <laughs> so we did our best to embrace it all. But that wasn't always easy. There were a lot of days where my injury really frustrated me, and a lot of nights where we just watched Netflix in bed. But I realized this. The bad and the ugly, they're not so bad when you're with the right person. Speaking of, while we were ordering shots, this happened. Do you want to marry this awesome girl? Man, put him in a bad position, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like that, our 30 day first date was at an end. Good morning! Good morning. This is our last day in the Philippines. How are you feeling, baby? Very sad. It's going so quick. I don't know where it's going. Yes, I know. I can't believe 30 days has gone by. And your foot's just f***ing healed. Ah. <laughs> but we have a big day ahead of us. We were flying back to Manila where it all began 30 days ago. And on the way, I thought about how the average lifespan is only 4,000 weeks. And well, I'm grateful to have spent a mere four of them with Steph. She showed me how magical your life can get when you just listen to your gut. So my friend, take that risk, step outside your comfort zone, explore the world, and follow your heart. And the best part is there's someone in the world out there right now who wants to do all of that and more with you.
How's it going, man? My name's I'm just kidding. It was me, John, the whole time. And if you didn't know, I quit my job to try to make this work full time with the goal of inspiring the world to chase after your dreams and to actually live your life how you want to instead of letting it slip by like I did for most of mine. So if you enjoyed this video, it would mean the world to me if you subscribe. And together, my friends, we will light up the world.